This conference will now be recorded. So uh, we'll be starting our next topic that is data migration in SAP S4 Hub. Okay. So the, the topics that we are going to cover there, we will see what is data migration, data migration activity, or you have is is for hana data migration cockpit okay we will cover key features of data migration cockpit okay then benefits of using ltmc okay and ltmc steps we will execute one end to end uh, flow of ltmc okay so basically uh, when implementing your sap s4 hana solution you can migrate your master data and business data from SAP systems and non-SAP systems to SAP S4. So normally in the real time, what happens is when the when the S4 HANA, uh, when the SAP implementation happens, they will migrate their data, master data and business data, that means transactional data, okay? From their legacy system, non-SAP system, like legacy system, okay, to the, SAP system using this data migration activity actually. Okay, so suppose let's say, let's say take a typical case, let's say a company, a organization is there, a organization is there, okay, they are implementing SAP, okay. So previously, let's say they have a other ERP, let's say Oracle, okay, just take an example, they have Oracle, okay. Now from Oracle, they are migrating to SAP. SAP, let's say S4 HANA. Version is S4 HANA. Okay. So that time they will migrate all the data in Oracle. Okay. Into SAP. Okay. This this legacy system can be anything, no? not only Oracle, any 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 non-SAP system. I just took an example of uh, Oracle. It can be any non-SAP system. Okay, so when they mic, so when they when they move from a for non SAP system legacy system to SAP, they will migrate all the data from this system to SAP system. Okay, so here normally they will migrate all the master data. Okay, and also uh, during the cutover, they will migrate the open transactional data. Transactional data. So in our case, in the PM module. Normally the master data, you know already. What is a master data? Normally we have equipment, okay? Equipment and of course functional locations, functional locations, equipment, okay? What is other data? If you have serial numbers, serial numbers, okay? All other, whatever the master data we have, that data. And transactional data, we have notifications notifications and orders work orders this is our transactional data so this data they will migrate from the legacy system to sap system okay using this data migration activity okay data migration activity data migration so during our training what we did let's say if you take the case of equipment okay equipment we created this through IE01. So the, for, for the creation of a single equipment, we used IE01. But let's say they have to create, let's say, 1000 equipments. Now creating 1000 equipments one by one using this transaction will take a lot of time. That's why they go for a mass upload. So that mass upload is handled through this data migration. Okay, so that is our. So to do this, to do this, you use the SAP S4 HANA migration cockpit. So SAP has come up with a solution called migration cockpit. With this, using this, they will migrate the data. The SAP S4 HANA migration cockpit facilitates the transfer of business data from a source system to SAP S4 HANA system. So this source system can be anything, your legacy system, it can be Oracle, JD Edwards, okay, Unity. It, it can be anything. Or it can be a SAP ERP also. SAP ECC system also, okay. 
the SAP S4 HANA migration cockpit uses migration objects to identify and transfer the relevant data. Okay, so this S4 HANA migration cockpit is nothing but LTMC. They call it as LTMC. So this LTMC is nothing but legacy transfer migration cockpit. Full form of L LTMC is this one. Legacy transfer migration cockpit. So in this ready-made templates are available to upload the data. So in this cockpit, you have the ready-made upload templates for all the master data and transactional data. Nearly all master data and transactional scenarios are covered in LT. So in, in this cockpit, you will have the templates. You need to download the template and fill the data and upload the template. Upload the data. Okay. So this is the one. So this is what we are discussing. So normally what happens is during the implementation, either you may have ERP system, SAP ERP system, old, old version, okay, or any third party system any third party legacy system your your legacy system can be anything so from these systems you extract the data you extract the data and this data you will put it in a file file and you will upload it you will upload it okay into the sap s4 hana system so for this data upload we will be using the migration cockpit migration cockpit so you extract the data from the legacy system you put it in the file and then you will upload. That's what you will put. Okay, so that we will see it in the system today. Okay. So these are the key features of the SAP S4 HANA migration cockpit. Okay. It is very easy to use, safe, and accelerated. Okay. So basically, out of the box, available for SAP S4 HANA and S4 HANA Cloud include including licenses. So this migration cockpit comes as a package with SAP S4 HANA. It will, con it will contain pre-configured migration objects. So already for all the master data objects, all the transactional data objects, not only PM, for all the modules, you will have the pre-configured templates available. No developer skills is required. So here you don't need any technical consultant help. You can do it on your own. It's very easy. Okay. Step by step guidance through the migration process. And this will be, it will, it is a step by step process and it is a guided one, which we will see it in the system. Pre configured migration objects and rules. So, all everything is already pre configured. Uh, data migration cockpit. Automized cross object value mapping. So, already you can do the value mapping uh, already available in the system. Okay. So, these are the key features of the data migration cockpit okay so basically what are the benefits of using ltmc okay so basically uh, already you have all the standardized templates okay there is no longer a need to create source structures target structures and mappings okay so no need to do develop any template no need to do any mappings so everything is already available this is already done by SAP for almost all the migration objects. So basically, uh, everything is ready. Template and mappings, everything ready. You just need to download the template file, uploadable file, and in that file you fill the data and then just simply upload. Okay. No screen recording. Here you don't have to do any recordings, which are done in the LSMW in the in the ECC system. So in the ECC system, they use LSMW. So, but in our LTMC, in our LTMC, the screen recordings and everything is not required. Not required. Okay. Next, user-friendly templates. So already ready-made Excel templates are available, available for all the objects. So you just use them as it is. Okay. Next one is a detailed instructions. So that these templates contain detailed instructions on how to fill them up and filled in templates can be uploaded through a simple interface you can do that a okay, simple interface okay. so 
that's what you can do any error messages are displayed and can be corrected okay so while uploading if you have any error messages all those are getting will get displayed and you can correct them. and even you can do partial uploads also in case of partial upload data files are created and only the erroneous records can be corrected and re -upload. so you can do partial upload. So these are the benefits of using LTMC. Okay. So now these are the steps. LTMC steps. First, you need to create project. Then you have to download the template from the cockpit. Then upload the fill the data and then upload the file. Activate it. Next step. Then transfer. Transfer the data. Validate the values. Convert. Then convert the values. Seventh step then simulate the values and finally finish. So these are the steps you need to carry out. Even though it's it says nine steps, but it looks very simple. It is very simple to use, okay? So now what we will do? Today we will upload equipments through file. We will create equipments through file. So in our training, in our training what we did, okay, let me log in again. I logged into the system. So, in our training, how we created equipment through IE01, correct? We created equipment through IE01. But let's say I want to load 1000 equipments. I want to create 1000 equipments. Now, creating one by one will take a lot of time. So, for that, you will be using the LTMC. Okay. So, now to go to this, uh, the data migration cockpit tool is cockpit tool is. It is called LTMC. LTMC. So now to go to this LTMC, what you need to do is on the screen in the command field, just type LTMC. LTMC. Now it will take you to the data migration cockpit. Enter the LTMC, just click on the button, enter. It will take you to the data migration cockpit. okay so you will get this screen you will get this screen okay you basically it will take you to the data migration cockpit in a web browser okay so we are here so now first we need to create the project okay first step okay whatever i am showing it in the system i have a document with step by step screenshots using that you can practice so first you need to create a project okay already there are some projects here if you see already there are some projects okay because this is a training system, right? So people are creating the projects as per their wish. Okay. But let's create a new project. Click on create button. You, you will get this pop up box. Enter here name. Okay. Uh, so powerful click seven underscore PM underscore training. Okay. So this is a project name I'm giving. Now, my transfer option is I am transferring the data from a file. Okay. So just select this radio button. Okay. Just give the data retention time, let's say like four days or something. Okay. Now click on the button create. You see, there is a button here create. It's a guided one, huh? step by step procedure. Okay. So now you will, system will take you to the screen. Okay. So now here, if you see, here you have all the objects, master data objects. You see activity type, bank, bank account balance. If you scroll down, you have all the master data objects. Not only PM, all the modules, objects will be available here. So now I want to load equipment. So we need to search with equipment. So let's search. You can scroll down. You can go to directly equipment, but as there are many objects, you can search also. So what I will do? I'll put, I'll, make, I'll click on this button, search. Okay, now put equipment, E, Q, U, oh, you got here, equipment. Then search, see, now you got equipment here. 